Hello, so I wanted to uh, make a video showcasing our um, GridDB web shell. It's um, a tool that we made that allows you to mess around with the GridDB shell um, without actually having it installed on your own local machine. Um, so yeah, so you can see here I'm in the, the latest um, GridDB documentation. Um, so yeah, you can see the URL here. It's um, docs.griddb.net slash latest. Um, so if you go in here and you head over to the quick start section, um, you'll see here that there's um, a web CLI, which is the um, live GridDB command line interface. So um, as I'm speaking now, the environment is setting up um, for me. And um, what basically what it's doing in the background is um, it's creating its uh, your own personal database. So normally in the video, um, you'll notice that it says GS public. Uh, but here it makes a randomized database for you so that um, multiple users can share this space without you know crashing into each other or messing up each other's um, data sets all right um so basically what i wanted to show is that yeah you can use this um, instead of installing it yourself so you can run help and um, you can see all the commands you can run in here um, so even down here, there's some examples of what you can run. So for example, if I copy and paste this, create time series command, um, and if I do show container um, called TS, oh no, the container name is TS. Um, so you can see here, I made a container called TS, just like that. Very, very, very easy, very cool. Um, and then, yeah, I did show container TS and it actually shows all that stuff. Um, so yeah, if you are trying to learn GridDB, um, the quickest way would just be to mess around in here because, um, yeah, there's no friction at all. You just load this page up and it opens up for you. You could even um, click this link and it'll, um, it'll create a more, um, how do you say, terminal-like environment because the window, it's just a window like this and, um, yeah, it depends on your preference. I'm not gonna let this load because I'm already working in this window, um, but yeah. Um, I guess one other thing is, yeah, you can create a collection container. Um, so create time series is a time series container. Um, you can put data like this, put row. Um, and um, yeah, there's also TQL, you can run time series commands in here. Um, yeah, so for example, there is a, um, sample data set in here it's it's called serial um, I grabbed it from Kaggle um, and there's also some other um, containers here so there's serial C001 T001 weather station and instrument log um, so T001 and instrument log are time series containers um, so for example if I do show container instrument log you can see it's a timestamp name and temperature so yeah you could mess around with any of these um, I guess container, I mean, the serial container probably has the most um, fun, I guess, stuff to mess around with. Um, so it's a collection container with um, a bunch of serials and their calories and stuff like that. Um, so, for example, there was a query here. So you can do um, select all serial, but um, you want to order by calories descending. Um, so we can look at the highest calorie serials. Uh, so let's just get the top five, let's say. Um, and then you can see here, for example, um, whatever this cereal is, Mucilix Crispy Blend has, um, I guess, 160 calories per serving, and it's the highest out of the whole data set of 72. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of goes from there. So I guess this Mucilix brand, I guess, makes really high calorie um, <laughs> content or cereal, I guess. Um, so that's basically it. So you can mess around and um, have your fun with this and without any friction. So it's, it's available for free for everybody. Just head to this URL. Um, I'll leave the link um, available for you guys. But yeah, it's just docs.redb.net slash latest, and it's in the getting started section. All right, thank you.